So flip flop is nothing but a one bit single bit memory storage unit. It can store either zero or one, and it will be useful for constructing synchronous sequential circuit. What is meant by synchronous sequential circuit is all the uh, synchronous sequential circuit or the sequential circuit will work with respect to clock. You will be uh, given a clock and all the work related to the circuit will be synchronized with respect to clock. Hence the name synchronous sequential circuit. So you will be having a clock associated with the circuit that is said to be sequential circuit. There are four types of flip flops. Keep in mind flip flop can store only a single bit uh, uh, storage unit uh, either it can show zero or it can show one. So four types of flip flop, namely set reset, that is said to be SR flip flop, and uh, D flip flop, the slight modification of SR is D, JK flip flop, and the modification of JK is T flip flop, otherwise said to be toggle flip flop. And uh, uh, throughout our discussion today, we are going to see how we are going to implement these flip flop using universal gate NAND. We are going to use NAND gates in that. Uh, so NAND gate, uh, basically, this is a truth table of the NAND gate. Uh, uh, except for one one combination, uh, all other for all other input combination, your output will be one. And uh, this is basically your SR flip flop. Uh, you have two stages. Uh, uh, this is the first stage and this is the second stage. The second stage is said to be the latch. Latch won't have a clock. Uh, whereas the first stage will have a clock put together. This is uh, uh, the one and two stage. Is put together said to be a uh, flip flop. You will be having a clock. You will be having a clock. So we know uh, this is uh, um, and all the working and the operation of the flip flop will be discussed in your clock. I'm not going to discuss the operation of flip flop here. And uh, this is the truth table of your SR latch. This is the truth table of the SR latch. Whereas uh, this is the excitation table of the SR latch. And uh, similarly, uh, your D flip flop is a slight modification of your uh, SR flip flop to avoid indeterminate state of your SR flip flop. We'll be going for the D flip flop. And uh, this is the truth table of the D flip flop, whereas uh, this is the excitation table of your D flip flop. And uh, coming to your JK flip flop, uh, uh, when uh, uh, to avoid indeterminate state by modifying the structure of SR flip flop, uh, uh, this flip flop is a new flip flop which is nothing but a jk flip flop where uh, uh, part of your output will be fed to your input part of your output will be fed to your input so jk flip flop is a slight modification of sr flip flop in the construction itself and this is a two table of a jk and this is the excitation table of the jk flip flop and the T flip flop is nothing but when you tie your j and k input of your jk flip flop uh, that is said to be your toggle flip flop and uh, this is your uh, excitation table, truth table, and this is your excitation table of your T flip flop. Okay, huh? truth table and the excitation table of your T flip flop. So, this uh, uh, all the four flip flops, uh, namely your SR, JK, GT, all the basic four flip flops, we are going to construct it with the help of your NAND gate in our uh, LT spice, and then we are going to see the output. That I'm going to uh, simulate uh, SR flip flop uh, using NAND gates. Okay. And let me take the basic gate 74HC00. I'm going to place it here, one over here, one over here, and then here, and then here. Okay. And we need three uh, power sources. So that will be in the voltage. Place one, two, and three. Okay. Connect all the three to the ground. Take a ground. Connect all the sources to the ground. And yes is your input. Okay, connected to your all the inputs possible inputs actually, and I'll place one more here that is for the clock. Okay, and let me take over here top input, connect it to the bottom input, press escape, and then you know the connection of your NSA flip flop, right. So, this is how your SR flip flop will be. And take it over here. 
let's escape and now change the names this is r this is clock again this is clock and this is r okay and now again use label net one is for your queue that is your output okay place it here one more here one more here give your v1 v2 okay huh? go for your advanced so the main thing in uh, simulating an sr flip flop uh, is uh, the way in which you are going to give in pulse better give all in microseconds because the simulation time will be higher if you go ahead with the milliseconds so let me take uh, 0 5 and the delay to be 0.1 micro simply okay 1 nano 1 nano and then 0.5 micro and 1.5 micro okay click ok and then go ahead here for your r and if you look at the uh, truth table the combinations four input possible combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 and if you look at the s you have 2 0 and 2 1 the transitions and if you look at the r if you look at the r you will be having um, 0 1 and 0 1 is the transition so accordingly s will be half of the time of your uh, r will be half of the time of your s so, okay so 1 uh, nano 1 nano 0.25 micro and 0.75 micro click ok and then go ahead with the clock before that let me pull these two and keep it down okay first one is your s next one is your r now i'm i'm going to give the clock clock so zero again five point two five it's all micro okay micro 1 nano, 1 nano, 0.25 micro again, and 0.5 micro. Click OK. And again, you can place it down. Okay. And after that, in your dot op, dot include, dot 74hc dot lib. I will place it. I'll take the maximum is 1.5 micro. No, so 2 micro I'll take. Okay. 2 micro I'll take. And then click OK. Place it here. Okay. Save it. Now run. Okay. It is dot include. Uh, it is not dot 74HC. It is simply 74HC dot library okay now run you will get the error okay so it will take some time to simulate that is why here only then your uh, output page will open okay huh? so let us wait for the output look here i have uh, created four plot planes one is for your clock at race your clock and the next one is for your at race this is for your yes input and next one is your at race this is for your r input i'm going to check only the q and at races this is vq okay and you will have glitch because it's an sr flip flop because of the indeterminate set you will be having this glitch so look only for the rising edge of the clock and meaning uh, the positive clock okay positive edge triggered clock so this is during this period and this period whatever may be the change in the output 
during this period this period this period and this period whatever may be the change in the uh, input your uh, output will be reflected accordingly okay so now uh, look during this period you have one and one okay you have one and one one and one your output is one that is your indeterminate state right and then see here during this period itself your s being 1 and your r is changing to 0 so 1 0 also your output is 1 1 0 also your output is 1 verify with your truth table this is your truth table so 1 0 also output is 1 1 1 also output is 1 okay so you, we need to check with 0 0 and 0 1 both are 0 okay huh? so now uh, for this clock Already your S is 0 only. Okay. So whenever you have a change in the clock. Sorry. Change in the input. Whenever your clock is positive. See here during this period. During this period only your R is changing. This is 0, 1. This is 0, 1. Now it is changing. When 0, 1 your output is 0. Okay. Okay. For 0 and 1 your output is 0. Next, you need to look ahead with 0, 0. Look here during this clock period. For 0 and 0, your output is 0. Okay. So, this is how you will be verifying the truth table of your SR flip-flop. Truth table of your SR flip-flop. And what is your D flip-flop? Next, I will tell you what is D flip-flop. D flip-flop is nothing but the slight modification of your SR flip-flop. Okay. What you need to do? You need to connect an inverter here, not gate. Connect because that indeterminate state should not occur, right? So, uh, R should be not of S. So, let me save this file as save as, save as and then I will go ahead with the final D flip flop using library. Now, what am I going to do is I am going to cut this. I am going to use uh, 7.4.04 because that is your NOT gate that should be connected. And then I am not going to remove this R and all. Okay. Huh? So use my label net. Okay. Yes. That is your input. That is your S. Okay. Again, the plot plane will it will uh, take some time uh, to appear, even though if it is in microseconds. That is why I am asking you to take in microseconds. At mm, now it's a D flip flop, right? Three is enough. So input is. Add traces your clock. You have given your uh, S only. Add traces your S. Okay, that is our D now. And then add traces your Q. Delay D flip flop is basically uh, it's said to be a delay flip flop. Uh, what is there in your S that has to appear with a delay? Okay. So during this period, your S is 1. So your output is 1 when your clock is positive. And during your uh, clock is positive, your S is 0, your output is 0. Hmm? During this positive also, your S is 0, your output is 0. Keep in mind that your S is D now. This is regarding your D flip. And your next thing is your uh, JK flip-flop. Okay. Hmm? So, JK flip-flop. Again, let me use the same thing. File. You save as final JK. Okay. JK, instead of 74HC00, you need to use uh, 3 input NAND at the first stage. Let me cut this down. Okay. 
no row you won't be having any inverters and all so here 74 hc 10 so three input uh, so you have a clock both the third input one of the input of your uh, uh, three input and gates of u1 and u2 will be connected to the clock and then this input will be pulled here one is j and another one is k let me rename this as j look okay and this be k click okay so this side closes okay and then again this is j Okay. This is K. Click OK. Again, take label net. Press your input. You need to connect Q to U2 and Q bar to U1. That is how your connection of JK will be. So this will be Q bar. Click OK. Okay. The rest all is same. I'm not going to change anything other than the connections. Your V. Uh, V1, V2, V3 remain same as such as in the case of your SR. And then I'm going to simulate it. Okay, the rest all is same. Simulate it. As I said earlier, it will take, take some time to get my output. Only then your plot plane will appear. At traces. Clock first. Add traces, J first, and then add traces, K, and then add traces, mm, J. Okay. See, for 1, and 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0, your output will be 1. So, during this period, this is 1 and 1. Your output is 1. It is high. You have some glitch. Okay. Ignore that. So now during this period. 1, 0. Your output is 1. And for the during your next positive clock pulse. See. You have this as 0 only. Your change is happening here. At this instant. So only here I will have a change. So 0, 1. Your output is 0. Okay. So look here during your next uh, ongoing pulse. So 0 and 0, your output is 0. Okay, your JK flip-flop is verified now. So the T flip-flop is uh, just the modification of JK where you need to tie your J and K together. T flip-flop is just the modification of JK. We need to tie J and K together. T flip-flop uh, I am leaving it as an exercise. You try by yourself and uh, get your results. Okay. Thank you.